Today I'm going to teach you how to make this with my experiment, Floating Stick Woman. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your dry erase markers and get ready to doodle. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Here's what you need to create your floating stick woman. A smooth glass or ceramic plate, different color of ultra fine tip dry erase markers, a syringe or a pipette. The syringe that comes with children's Tylenol works really well for any parents watching, and then some water to put on your plate. So go ahead and pick one of your markers and draw a stick figure on your plate. Just like so. Now very quickly, Get your syringe, fill it with water, and now very slowly drip your water around your stick figure just like so. You'll see it lift off from your plate like this. You can add more water to your plate for your stick figure to roll around in. Look at that. Go stick figure, go. Woohoo! Look at her dancing. You don't want to hit her with water or else she will break apart. Just want to be very careful. But yeah, she'll just move around your plate just like that, floating on the top of water, dancing around your plate. But why does this happen? This is because of these special properties of dry erase markers. There are three unique things that are happening here. Dry erase markers are filled with ink that is sticky to itself, but not to other surfaces which is why dry erase markers are so easy to wipe off of whiteboards. The other thing that's happening is dry erase ink is hydrophobic and unable to be dissolved in water. So as you notice, when I put water on my stick figure here, the ink didn't disperse in the water. That's because it is not able to be dissolved in water. And then the third very cool thing that's happening here is dry erase marker ink is less dense than water, which allows it to float on top of the surface, allowing our stick figure to dance around our plate. Ah! Just like so. Go girl, go. Whoop! Her head broke open. <laughs> Eventually, she will break into bits. <laughs> if you're having trouble getting yours to float, make sure that you have a very smooth plate. It is usually the plate's fault when that happens. And really make sure you are putting your water in very slowly so it doesn't break apart your stick figure before it has a chance to float. Now let's supersize our floating stick woman and just create a floating stick woman pool party. Oh gosh, it's a little too fast for that one. Go, 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 go! <gasps> Come on, little guy. Whoop! Whoa! And that is our floating stick woman party. Look at that cool pool party. Whoa. Now watch what happens when I add soap right to the center. Three, two, one. Whoa, bye stick ladies. <laughs> so cool. What happens if you accidentally get permanent marker on a whiteboard? Oh no, oh no. Well, here's what you do. Just get a dry erase marker and color on top of it. The dry erase marker acts as a solvent dissolving your permanent marker. And just like that, you wipe your permanent marker right off. Thanks for making a floating stick woman with me today. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.